Hello, you may know me as the vanilla thriller, the rap star in a sports bra. This is Board Deck and Dice, and I just wanted to give a quicker summary of my thoughts and feelings on Scythe. That's because my Scythe review was the longest by about 10 to 12 and a half and another half minutes. And uh, yeah, that's a bit long. So if you just want to know the lowdown, the skinny on what I think, then this is that video. Good, now I've wasted enough time with that. Let's have a drink of one of my two choices. Now we're ready. So, um, essentially I think Scythe is a brilliant game. I love the action selection and the way you are selecting initially from one of four columns. Each column has two options, a top option and bottom option, and you may do um, and both of those or just one or none but you have to move your action selection uh, pawn onto one of those columns regardless of whether you move um, I love the way you can upgrade those abilities I love the way that anytime you take something off your player mat it gives you a bonus I love the way that this uh, this kind of thing that you're doing this action selection and this player board improving which could be very solitaire really impacts on the map, on what you're doing on the map. Um, I've been thinking about some criticisms because I was aware my uh, afterthoughts were, were very uh, overwhelmingly positive, um, but that's because I do love this game. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I've been doing some work on preparing early for my top 50, or perhaps I might even do a top 100 this year games. Um, and Scythe is right up there in my top 10, top five, I think it's in. And um, but if I if I have to think critically and have to um, do that reviewer thing, uh, setup and teardown time is gonna put some people off, uh, especially if you're playing with new players. I would recommend that you set the main board up, all the pieces up, um, but you let them put their wooden bits onto their player mats because I think that's a really good way to explain the game, taking each kind of type of wooden resource putting it onto a mat and explaining what happens with those as you do that I think is a really good way to teach the game I think it's potentially um, too much for brand brand new players I think players who ha have played a few games got the some of the um, language and the mechanisms down will will not struggle I think it is easier to teach than it appears it's easier to teach than it should be and I think that's a testament to Stone Myers, did you notice that sneaky bird? Probably did. New mic. Uh, so that's a testament to Stone Myers' rule writing and um, crib sheets, which are fantastic in um, viticulture and in scythe. Uh, the other criticism I have is that I think if you just play the base game and you don't have any of the extra factions, you. After a few games, you're always going to start doing by doing a similar first six turns because, because all of the starting factions are surrounded by water. They have three hexes immediately in front of them, and they're surrounded by rivers. Now, you can't cross rivers normally um, until you unlock River Walk, and you unlock River Walk by deploying a mech and choosing that mech to go out first. And if you want to spread out onto the map and do some damage, um, and if you haven't got the resources you need on those three starting hexes you're going to need to then your first six or so actions are going to be moving your workers to the relevant places to get the metal to build the mech going on to the deploy action to deploy the mech then moving out again into the rest of the map to do what you want to do next and um this happens in a different variety of different ways some ways some people take different routes to the same end um, but last game I played particularly, myself and another player, um, we just, well, I went, I went before him, so he copied me. Yeah, Simon, you copied me. Um, but we literally did the same moves each time because we were both trying to get our mech river walk ability out. Now, this is fixed somewhat by the first expansion with the extra factions. They do not, they are not surrounded by water, so they can get out into the, into the rest of the map uh, more easily and they probably should take advantage of that because there's other things that balance them out and 
I believe the airships um, expansion is going to solve that even more. And for me, it it sounds worse than it is. It sounds like that would be boring, but you've still got the variety of having those two different player mats which are dealt randomly. Then you've got to look at your starting hexes. You might be able to do, achieve quite a lot without crossing a river. Um, you might be able to get your mine out, which allows you access to the map without needing river walk. Um, so there are some things there and and once you start interacting with other players you are um going to have to change a strategy each game so it's it, it's one that sounds worse than it is i think i think um especially when you play with players who played the game those first early turns are going to go quite quickly anyway as everyone starts to build up ramp up what they want to do and and ha what which stars they're going to go for first uh, yeah, everything else about the game. I love the trackers on the board. I love in typical Stonemaier fashion, as well as the rules being really accessible. Um, everywhere you would need to give you a hint, gives you a hint. Whether it's the player boards, when you remove something, it basically tells you what that power is. Or the board itself, which has the helpful guides where wherever you need them. It's just well thought out. Um, do I think it's a game for everyone? Probably not, but I think it's a game that I don't see a reason for many people to hate it, apart from it got a lot of hype, and, and therefore we need to hate this because it got a lot of hype. So I think Scythe is excellent. Like I say, it's top five game for me without shadow of a doubt. Um, there are a few drawbacks, but not enough to stop my enjoyment of, a ga of the game, and um, not enough certainly to stop me eventually purchasing it. So thanks very much. I am known as the Vanilla Thriller and I will see you next time on Board Deck and Dice. That would be nice.